A prism is a polyhedron with exactly two parallel and congruent faces. Uh, we call those the bases of our prism. Okay. Um, your other faces are called your lateral faces. So you have your bases and your lateral faces. I will draw you a picture to show you in just a second. Um, but the other faces are called the lateral faces. Um, and then you name a prism by the shape of its base. So like... this, for instance. Okay, we would call this a rectangular prism because the base is a rectangle. Um, we would say these two are your parallel and congruent bases. And then all the ones that wrap around are your lateral faces. So the lateral faces would be these four. Okay, so those are lateral faces. Okay, um, so I would call this a rectangular prism, which is what we're really going to focus on. Um, there are plenty of other types of prisms. For instance, this is a hexagonal prism. Um, but I'm not going to even show you how to do lateral area, surface area, all that stuff with a hexagonal prism. Um, but I'm just going to show you what they look like so you know what they are when you see them. Okay, so this is a hexagonal prism. Um, or a triangular prism would have two triangles with rectangles connecting. Notice it's always rectangles that connect your bases. So you'll have all these rectangles with whatever shape your bases are, okay? Um, so we're gonna be finding the lateral area and the surface area of really just rectangular prisms. So I'm gonna give you those two formulas of how you do it. You need to know what they stand for and what the different parts are. Um, so when I tell you, like, look at this picture. If I tell you find the lateral area, it's the area of all the lateral faces put together. So you could break it down into a net and find the area of each individual rectangle and then add them all together. I'm giving you a formula that does that for you. So if you forget the formula or how to use the formula, ow, you could always just um, make a net for it and find each individual rectangle, okay? Um, so lateral area would be these four all added up. Surface area would be those four plus the top and the bottom. So the surface area is the whole thing. The lateral area is just the lateral faces, okay? Okay, so here are your formulas, and I'm going to show you a couple examples of how to use them. Um, LA is going to stand for lateral area. So the formula is going to be the lateral area equals P times H. But you have to know what P and H stand for here. Um, so P is the perimeter of the base. And H is the height of the figure. Okay, so LA equals PH is the formula you're going to use for lateral area. Okay, the formula you're going to use for surface area, so SA stands for surface area. Um, and the beautiful thing about the surface area formula is it uses the lateral area that we already have. So whatever you find for the lateral area, you just plug that number in, LA plus 2, and then times a capital B. And that capital B stands for the area 
of the base. Okay, a lot of letters and information. I will make it make sense right now when we actually find what we're looking for here. Can I move beyond the formulas? All right, so example one. Oops. Let's say we have this rectangular prism. So this is 5, this is 4, and this is 8. Um, if I ask you to find the lateral area and the surface area for that figure, here's what you're going to do. You first have to figure out, okay, what are my formulas? And on this stuff, like on the quiz and the test, make sure you just lay it out for me. Like, show me what formula you used, show me what numbers you plugged in, because I can give you so much partial credit. If you do one little step wrong, you really don't get penalized much. So show me every step of the way, and I will show you exactly how to do that well. Um, so the lateral area of a prism is P, H. So that's the formula we're going to use. Um, so we have to figure out what is P right now. P stands for the perimeter of the base. What would you say our base is here? It's not five times four, but that is our, that's the shape of our base is the five by four. So this is our base. How do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? What? Multiply. You don't multiply for perimeter. You multiply for area. You add them all up, right? So it's going to be five plus four plus five plus four. So 18. Oops. Okay, so P right now is 18. What do you think H is? The height of the figure. What number? What? The 8. It's the distance between the two bases. So your H is 8. So if we're using LA equals PH, then we're saying lateral area equals 18 times the height, which is 8, and 18 times 8 is 144. How do you label area? Unit squared. So let's say this was centimeters. This would be 144 square centimeters. Does that make sense? Okay. What are you doing? Directing our choir? All right, let's say this is 9, this is 3, and this is 6. Put a 3 there. I want lateral area and surface area. Oh, are you raising your hand? For what? You have to go to the bathroom? Yeah. This is my last one. Can you wait? Okay, um, so lateral area is perimeter of the base times the height. So let's find P. What is the perimeter of your base right now? Nine and six, so it's nine plus six plus nine plus six, right? Nine plus six plus nine plus six. Um, so that would be 15 and 15, which is 30. Okay, so P is 30. What's H? H is the three, the height of the prism. Okay. Um, so 30 times three gives you a lateral area of 90 square units, whatever your units are, okay? But for this one, we're gonna find the surface area too. So the first one, we just found lateral area, and you could stop there, because that's all they ask for. On this one, they're gonna say find the surface area. So you have to start with the lateral area, and then surface area is the lateral area plus two times B, and what did B stand for? What? What are you finding with B? Not perimeter. P was 30. Area of, the base. area of the base. So how do you find the area of this rectangle? Nine, Nine times six. Base times height, right? So you're going to do the lateral area, which we already found. Okay, so this is going to go here. 90 plus 2. And then B is 9 times 6, or 54. 
So you're going to take that 54 and plug it in here. So you're doing 90 plus 2, I was going to combine that, 2 times 54, so 90 plus 108. So you get, for your surface area, 198. Uh, I didn't give you units, so we're just going to do units squared. Okay, so here's where the biggest issue lies. P, you're adding up all your edges. B, you're multiplying your edges. Okay? Okay.